everybody it's your girl sincerely Dre, and i'm back today with another video In today's video, I will be doing a grocery haul. I got a lot, clearly, y'all see. But if y'all want to see like more of a detailed video of what I actually shop for, how I shop for things in the store, which stores I do shop from, let me know down below because I really did a whole lot of random shopping this time. I'm not gonna lie, I did not stick to any sort of budget this sort of time. I just got what I felt like I wanted. So I'm gonna get into it because we got a lot of stuff to go over. Okay, so I'm gonna just pick everything at random. I'm gonna just tell y'all where I got it from, what it is, and I'm gonna just tell y'all like why I got it, I guess. So the first thing that I have right here are these cheese sandwich crackers. I got three boxes of these, and they're kind of like the Ritz cheese crackers, and you know they also make the Ritz peanut butter cheese crackers? They're kind of like those, but I don't like peanut butter. So I got the cheese one, and I got three of these because these are like my favorite snacks, so I stocked up on them. So that's the first one I got, and I got these from all these. So yeah. The next thing that I got is this huge box of cereal bars. They're kind of like Nutrigrain bars, and I got these from BJ's. And the main reason why I get these is because it's kind of like a really quick grab and go sort of thing. You know if you're in college, sometimes you don't have time to make a full meal, or you make something but you don't have enough time to eat it. So I get these, so if I'm working early in the morning or if I have a class to go to real quick, I just pick up a cereal bar and go through my day. And it usually keeps me until I'm able to like actually get a full meal in. Okay, so the next thing that I have, I don't know if y'all can see, but I have these three huge things. And I got this from H Mart. If you don't know what H Mart is, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a food market sort of place, but it's more direct to that Asian cuisine, but they do have other international items as well. So I like to go there to get certain stuff that they don't usually have at like your regular Walmart or Kroger sort of thing. So I just got three big boxes of baby spinach. I don't know about y'all, but I love spinach and I love spinach salads. I love sauteed spinach, I love spinach and everything. It just tastes really good. So what I do with this spinach is I saute it with a little bit of seasoning and I eat this for my lunch. It's amazing. And it doesn't look like a lot, but because it's a super green, it's a dark green, it really does fill you up. So you don't need that much. But I still got three. And this usually lasts me. I usually get this in the bag from Walmart, I'm not gonna lie. But I was at H Mart and my parents were just like, oh, you just pick it up from here. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna last me, but usually when I go to Walmart and I usually pick up six bags of spinach, it usually lasts me a little bit over a week. So trust me, if you haven't gotten into spinach or something like that, do that. Or try to get in like some other sort of greens because in college it's really hard to eat really unhealthy, which isn't bad because everybody does it. But if you are trying to like sneak in some sort of nutrition, this is a really good way to do it. Especially if you know how to season your food. Don't be making no spinach and not seasoning your food. I don't know who told y'all not seasoning your food. <laughs> so, the next thing I got is four bags of cauliflower. This also goes to that vegetable sort of thing. I try to get vegetables in every meal. I don't do vegetables for breakfast, but I do vegetables or I try to get vegetables in for lunch and dinner. So depending on what meat I'm making for dinner, I usually put a vegetable with it. And I got cauliflower for this one. I also do broccoli, which I already have in the fridge, so I didn't have to buy that. And sometimes I do like corn or string beans or something like that. So just get whatever vegetable you like and make that. And also for these, I, I boil these and I season them as well. And it tastes delicious on the side of like whatever you want. The next thing I got is one bag of um, grilled chicken breast fillets, and I got these from Kroger. There's usually like six or seven in here. Sometimes you make it more, it just depends on how the factory was filling that day. 
And for these, I just put these on the skillet and I put a little bit of water in it. And I'm telling y'all, these, they don't look like they have a lot of taste, but they taste amazing. Like, there is so much taste on this. I don't have to add any extra seasoning or anything on it because there is already that much flavor already packed into it. And I usually do this, no bread, because I'm not trying to add in any extra carbs because a lot of the snacks that you'll see me pull out have a lot of carbs in them already and I'm a pretty snacky person. So I try not to add extra bread onto my meat and all that throughout the day. So I just got one bag of this and this will last me for a week. The next thing I got since we're talking about meats is I got this big bag of raw shrimp. This is the small size, hill divine and the tail off so it makes it really easy. If you are at home or something, you might wanna get fresher from an actual market, but since I'm in college, we don't have time to be cooking and cleaning. If you know shrimp, shrimp takes a long time to clean because we have to get, if you know shrimp, you know, it's it's a whole deal. So getting the tail off is really cool. And I also get it small because when I make this, I'm a big person for quantity. So the small makes it feel like I'm eating more, even though I'm not really eating that much compared to getting like large or medium shrimp. And I get it raw because you know, you can overcook shrimp really easily. So you can get cooked shrimp, that will make it easier, but with the way that I'm cooking my shrimp, it's best to get it raw than get it cooked. But you can if that works for you as well. And I got that from Walmart. And usually I get two small bags, so they didn't have the two small bags, so I just got the one bag bag and I hope that there's enough in here. And this will usually last me for a week as well. The next thing I got, which is usually not on my list to get for like food, is just this extra five cheese toast, Texas toast. I love cheese and I really do love bread, but like I said, I don't eat bread and any other sort of thing. So if I'm having like soup or something like that, or if I'm just feeling for some bread for dinner, I'll just make one of these, but I don't try to make this like a thing that I eat every single day because it is a lot of cheese and a lot of bread. So yeah, but if I do want to trick myself because in college you need to trick yourself, especially if you really get on the tech or something, I get this if I'm eating soup. This is really good to pair with soup as well, just to keep you and hold you in a little bit more. And I got this from Walmart. The next thing I got is two cartons of 18 count eggs. I got just a regular large of eggs. It may seem like a lot, but if you don't know, I only go home or I try to only go home once a month. And for that one time in the month, I try to buy all my food for the month. So I get two packs of 18 eggs and I usually make two in the morning for breakfast. And then when I run out of eggs, I do cereal or pancake mix or something like that. But these two packs of 18 eggs really last you for a long time, especially if you're someone who only does one egg a day. But I do two eggs because I just be needing more food, okay? I'm a big girl, okay? <laughs> um, the next thing that I got is, I'm not even sure how you say this, but I think it's a Lor Lorna Doom or Lorna Dawn, I'm not sure. But it's just regular shortbread cookies. I got this from BJ's. And honestly, after I got it, I kind of regretted it, not no cap. I love these, but I just don't really know if I'm gonna be eating it that much, but I still brought it anyway because sometimes I'll be feeling for them. So who knows if I'm gonna eat them or not. This is kind of a real impulse buy. It's not something that's ever on the list, but I was feeling for it, so I picked it up. So I got this from BJ's. And yeah, this should last me for a very long time. There are 30 packs in here. The next thing that I got, I got this from H Mart as well, is this strawberry flavored syrup. And what I do with this is, um, you can do this for like, um, you can make juice with this if you mix it with water, but I'm not a really big juice person, but I am a big smoothie person. And if you know, if you're someone who buys smoothies from Smoothie King, Smoothie King puts in a lot of like extra sugars and syrups in it that makes it have that nice taste. But when you make smoothies at home, it's different. It's harder to get that actual taste. So getting a syrup really does help with having a better taste for your smoothies when you're making it at home. So that's why I got this. So, you know, my smoothies could just be on point, okay? The next thing that I got is this 10 bag pack of Funyuns. I got this from 
Walmart. I personally love onions. I love onion tasting things, which is a really hard because you know when you have onion and garlic tasting stuff, you have to really make sure that you're brushing your teeth, flossing, and mouthwash, all that sort of stuff. But these are one of my favorite chips. So I just picked this up on top of like of some other chips that I already have in my room anyway. The next one I got, y'all, this is new, okay? And I know this is new because like I told y'all, I'm a big girl, so I know my big girl food, okay? So I saw, I was walking in Walmart and usually like if you go to the self-checkout area in Walmart or the bakery area, they always have those little small bags of cookies that come with like three cookies in it for a dollar. But this time I went to Walmart and I was just checking out per the huge and I saw like these really, like these bigger packs of red. It comes with three, six things of cookies in here. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is different. And it was for a dollar. So I was like, oh, I gotta pick it up. So it's just regular candy bite cookies that I got from Walmart for a dollar. And these should last me for a long time because I'm not trying to eat cook like big million cookies in a day. The next thing that I got is this thing of Dunkaroo. Now, I don't know how old y'all are watching this video, but if you're like a 90s baby, which I'm not, but if you are a 90s baby or if you're a 2000s baby, you probably know about Dunkaroos. They used to be out when we were really young and they stopped selling them. And right before I came to college, I thought they were selling them at Pro I thought they were selling them at Kroger. So I just picked up like one or two. And I was like, ooh, like that's like, that's like a big girl snack, like some icing with some cookies. Like, come on now. I had to pick it up. So I saw it at Kroger. I just saw it in this big pack and I was like, oh, I might as well stack up on one of my favorite snacks. So I picked it up and I got this from Kroger. I don't really know where else they sell them. I haven't seen them anywhere else at like a Walmart or Publix or anything like that. So if you do like these or if you want to try them, go to Kroger. The next thing that I got which isn't really a grocery item, but it's kind of just for like me and my roommate, just for anybody that comes in the room, because you know, we just like to be fancy like that, okay? I just got these two huge bags of candy. It is kind of around Halloween season time, so that's why there's like a whole lot of candy going around. I got this one from Aldi. Oh my gosh, that's how big it is. <laughs> I got this one from Aldi's and it just has 250 pieces and it was about $20. But there's a lot in here and it's gonna last for a long time. And then I had this other one, I got this one from Walmart and it comes with lifesavers, Starburst, and Skittles. And this was, I honestly can't remember, it was probably like six or eight dollars, somewhere in that range, but I got this one from Walmart and it comes with 80 pieces in it. So, if you watch my dorm tour, you're gonna see where we place that and all that for anybody that comes in the room or for just, if we just need a little something sweet throughout the day, you'll see where we place that in our room. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when that video comes out so you see what we do with that. Um, the next one that I got is a little bit more healthy stuff. I got this from H Mart as well. That's where I like to get a lot of my um, vegetables and fruits. So I just got these three delicious apples. I think that's what they call these. It's the dark red ones. These are my favorite apples. I just think that the darker they are, the sweeter it tastes. Honestly, these are my favorite. So I just got three of these. Because I don't know if y'all know, but when you're in college, you need to not shop like you're at the house and buy like 50 million of everything. Because things spoil faster, especially if you're not someone who stays on track with eating certain things. So I only got three instead of getting like a huge bag. Cause if I got a huge bag, it will probably spoil and then I'll be mad because I wasted my money. <laughs> so I just got these three and I'll be putting them in the refrigerator so they don't go bad so fast. In that same topic, I got three of these tangerines. I'm not sure if they're tangerines or mandarins because it said that it was tangerine when I picked it up. But when we checked out, it said mandarins. So I'm not really sure. But it's the small, like, easy to peel oranges. I love these because it's just easy to take on the go with you wherever you're at. They're small, they're easy to peel, easy to eat. You don't gotta worry about too much mess when you have it. And I just got 
four of those from the same place I got from H Mart. The next thing I got was one brown apple. I didn't want the like golden colored apple. I like those ones better. They usually are a little bit more softer, but I got this brown pear because I love pears. I love pears, okay? <laughs> so I just got one of these from H Mart as well. The next thing I got is also from H Mart, and this I'm gonna be using with my shrimp to make a little some something, something. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what I'm gonna be doing with those because I showed y'all it before and y'all said y'all wanna see a video. So I will be making a video on this, so stay tuned for that one. But I just got some coconut milk from H Mart, and you can make a lot of different things with this. I don't like coconut, I don't like coconut milk, but when I mix this with all the flavors that I'm gonna be doing, it really does help bring everything together. And it doesn't taste like coconut when you're mixing it all together. So stay tuned if you wanna see what I do with this and the shrimp. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a movie, okay? <laughs> the next thing that I got is from Walmart. And I just got these two big things of chicken and broth. And you can use chicken broth for a lot of things, but I personally got it for cooking my rice. When you make rice, you can use water, but if you use chicken broth, it does give it a different taste. It gives it some more flavor instead of adding like seasoning or something, because seasoning will make your rice a little bit more salty. So adding chicken broth gives it a little bit more flavor if your parents have never told them that. Try chicken broth when you make rice the next time you make it. So I just got these two things for my rice and this much chicken broth will last me for one whole week of rice and there'll be a little bit more extra as well the next thing i also got from walmart i just got two cans of creamy potato with bacon and cheese progresso soup i'm not a big soup person but I am, my wisdom teeth are starting to grow out a little bit more. And when they grow out, it's really hard for me to chew on things. So just in case it ever goes out, cause you never know when it's gonna happen. I like to keep some soup on hand along with like Jello and popsicles and like other soft things. And that's where I would add in the Texas sauce that I showed y'all earlier. So I like to keep soup on hand because you never know. And then you never know if you're gonna get sick as well. You just need something that's easy to make. So I just got two cans of soup for that reason. The next thing I got is also from Walmart. Y'all can clearly tell that I do a lot of my shopping at Walmart. I just got some women's vitamins because I'm running out of vitamins. Not really a grocery item, but I'm running out of vitamins and I need to stay up with the vitamins. If you saw my everything, like things that you need for going into college, you know I talk about vitamins because they make sure that you're, it makes sure that you don't get sick as easily. So if you're in college and you seem like you're getting sick a lot, you probably wanna start getting some vitamins on top of fruits and vegetables into your diet. They will help a lot. So that's why I got that. And the next thing I got is just one box of some Pop-Tarts. I usually get a huge box from like Sam's or BJ's. But I got a huge box last year and honestly, I didn't end up eating all of it and it ended up expiring. And it doesn't taste the same when it's expired. So I just got the small box so I can keep up with this more than I can keep up with the huge box of Pop-Tarts because Pop-Tarts isn't something that I eat all the time, especially now that I'm cooking for myself. I always have meals for every breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There isn't much need for Pop-Tarts on top of like the cereal bars and other snacks that I have. But if you are on a meal plan or something like that and you're zipping in between classes, Pop-Tarts are a really good thing. I used to eat these for breakfast when I was in high school. Not the healthiest thing, but they do keep you up for that and they're good for snacks as well. So I just keep Pop-Tarts on me at all times. Y'all let me know, what is y'all favorite Pop-Tart flavor down below? Because I have like, I like brown sugar, I like strawberry. I like a good amount of them. So y'all tell me which ones y'all like down below. The next thing I got is from Kroger. I just got this small Biscoff cookie thing. I don't know if y'all know about Miss Biscoff, okay? But Miss Biscoff don't come to play. So I just got this small one, it's a dollar. You could get the really big one, but I try to not get too 
addicted to this type of stuff. But these cookies are amazing. You should try it. If you've ever fly in a plane, sometimes the planes give you this stuff as well. It's amazing. So if you've never tried it, I'm about to put you on. Go to Kroger, get the small one for a dollar if you don't want to pay the full price to get the actual size. And I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life, okay? I'm telling you, go get it and then tell me down below if you liked it. <laughs> the next thing that I got from Kroger as well is two boxes of Almond Breeze Vanilla Almond Milk. So I use this for a lot of different things. I use this as a base for my smoothies because I'm not a big juice person and adding juice on top of the fruits that you already have does make your smoothie a little bit less unhealthy. I do have the strawberry thing which isn't the best thing in the world but I do like to use Almond Breeze or I just like to use milk or something instead. And I also get this instead of the actual like refrigerated one because the refrigerated one will expire quickly and I'm not that good with keeping up with milk and stuff like that. So I get it in the box. And I don't like dairy milk either. So that's why it's just a personal preference. There's no health reason as to why I don't drink regular dairy cow's milk. I just never like the way that cow's milk tastes. So I just got almond milk and then I don't usually use this for my cereal, but I can if like it runs out. So that's how I got these. And because they're in the box, they're shelf stable, so they last for a very long time. This you can use up until July 29th. July the 20? July 29th, the 2021. But of course when you open it, you do need to get it over with within like seven days. But it can stay before you drink it for some time. So that's why I like to keep those. The next thing that I got, y'all, we are almost done. The next I got was also from H Mart. I just got one little bundle of bananas. I love bananas. They're an easy thing to eat on the go. I know a lot of people don't really like them, but they're an easy, like, fruit to eat on the go. It doesn't require you to do too much. You don't have to. If you have dirty hands, you can touch the outside of it and never actually touch the inside, so it keeps everything somewhat sort of clean. So I like bananas, they're really easy to eat on the go. So that's why I got those as well on top of like the other fruits that y'all saw me get before. And the last thing I got was from Kroger. And this is just the Ritz Cheddar Toasted Chips. Y'all, this is another thing I'm finna pitch y'all on. These taste so good. I don't know if y'all had them before. I don't know if this means that I just love all things cheddar, but they do have other flavors. I, I'm not really sure which other flavors they have, but I know they have other ones. These are amazing. I'm telling you, you gonna get hooked onto them. They sell them at Walmart, Kroger, Publix, Target. They pretty much sell them everywhere. So if you could get your hands on them, most definitely go and try them because they're amazing, okay? But that's all I got for this time that I went to the store. Let me come back up to the front. So as I can see, I do a lot of shopping all over the place. For this one, I shopped at H Mart, Kroger, and Walmart, and BJ's. Usually I also shop at Sam's. So I usually do like a lot of price matching. Some places are better to pick up certain things than other places, and some places just don't sell things that other places do. So if y'all want to see more of how I shop in the actual grocery store, let me know. I'm thinking about doing that going into this next semester so I can really show y'all everything that I get all at once. And when I shop, I usually shop for about a month, but some things do last me for two months, especially if it's like a frozen item. So I've been getting really good with that and keeping up a really good budget. So if y'all want to know how to eat in college on a budget and how to eat for a whole month and how to actually shop in the grocery store, let me know down below and I'm most definitely going to make that video. And make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so that when that video does come out, you're able to see that along with how I make some of the food in this video. And so you have more of a say of what I make and all the videos that I do make, make sure you follow me on Instagram at I am Sincerely Juice so you can see all the behind the scenes and everything before it hits YouTube. And remember that I love y'all and my name is Sincerely Dree and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!